Hi there, it's Dr. Jory. Are you having a hard time sleeping? A lot of us are, and there's a simple fix that you might be overlooking. Light pollution. Humans had actually lived for about 99% of existence without electricity. So when you look at it that way, it's a relatively new invention. Our bodies are not really designed to have this artificial lighting, especially after the sun goes down. Important hormonal releases are to happen once the sun goes down. One of those in particular is the release of melatonin. As the sun sets, about half an hour after that, your pineal gland releases melatonin. Now, what does melatonin do? It signals your body that it's time to rest and repair. But what happens if you stare at a really bright television screen or phone or laptop right before you go to bed? What it does is suppresses the release of your melatonin. Now, why is this a bad thing? Melatonin has been shown to have many positive properties and is closely tied to the release of other important hormones. One such hormone is growth hormone. Growth hormone helps to repair tissues. Imagine if you're not getting enough melatonin stimulation, your tissues are more likely to break down. There are some other negatives to not having melatonin. Melatonin has been shown to be anti-cancerous. In other words, it helps you kill off cancer cells as you're sleeping. And some studies have shown that night shift workers have higher rates of breast cancer or prostate cancer. What are some easy ways that you can try and mitigate this? First of all, on your phone, on your television, on your laptop, you have the ability to dim the backlight. Now, I do that with all my devices. Um, after the sun goes down and if we're watching TV at home, I always dim the backlight so that it's not so bright. The way you can tell is if there's a white screen, then the white screen will not seem so bright to you. Part of the problem with the white screens is the blue light, which mimics the sun's light. So it, in effect, tricks your brain to thinking that it's daytime, even though it's nighttime. So the worst thing that you could do is open up your phone right before you go to bed, check your email with that big, bright, white screen slamming your retinas and suppressing your melatonin. You will find that by dimming the lights, you will feel more tired and ready to go to bed and you will fall asleep quicker and likely have a much sounder sleep throughout the night. Here are a couple other tips. Make sure that your bedroom is pitch black. How can you do that? If you have an alarm clock, make sure the light isn't too bright or put a shirt over top of it. Make sure you have blackout blinds or curtains to prevent any light from outside, street lights, car headlights, things like that. Block all the light from getting into your room and you'll sleep better. iPhone, the new operating system, actually has a night shift mode. It looks like this. It's a great addition as now you can decrease the blue light and make it a little more warm light before you go to bed. Another tip is to install dimmers around your house on the light switches so that you can dim them down at nighttime. Follow these tips and you'll get a more restorative and reparative sleep. As usual, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and stay tuned for more hybrid health videos to get your health on.